Alright y'all, Peep Game. One Piece has basically been on a generational run releasing banger after banger with some of the best fights in the series. We've seen the likes of Luffy vs Kaido, Zoro vs King, and Sanji vs Queen all take place in the land of Wano. And outside of those fights, we were also able to witness other legendary matchups such as Law vs Blackbeard, Shanks vs Kid, and Luffy vs Luchi. The rematch. Oda has definitely been in his bag lately as we continue to make our way through the new world. But the one fight I wanted to talk about undoubtedly takes the cake as one of the best, if not the best fight in all of Egghead so far. And if you read the title of this video, then you already know what we're talking about today. That's right, my man's Unc D. Garp pulled up to Hachi no Su to run the gauntlet against the Blackbeard Pirates and spin the block for Ace. And in the streets, they don't call this man Unk the Fist for no reason. But before we get into the absolute mayhem that this man caused, you guys go ahead and do me a favor and drop a like on this video if you actually like the video and leave a comment down below what has been your favorite fight in Egghead so far. I cannot wait to hear what everybody has to say. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and lock in with the post notifications so you know exactly when I'm dropping the next banger, banger. Dang, son, you find this? But enough yapping, let's get right into it. Alright, so boom. Everything starts off with my boy Kobe getting kidnapped by Sneakbeard during the Amazon Lily incident where the Jumpbeard Pirates pulled up to collab with Boa Hancock like she's an OF model. Now mind you, while all this was happening, there was a bunch of stuff going on at the same time. We got the Seraphim pulling up and exposing Teach as a fraud, the Navy simping over Boa Hancock, and of course we got the legendary male Rayleigh pulling up to the scene and shutting the whole club down. I can make a whole video glazing this man and talking about the Roger Pirates, but we're not here to talk about that right now. We're here to talk about Unk. So like I said before, Kobe gets kidnapped by the Blackbeard Pirates and they're wondering what to do with him. Maybe we can sell his booty on the black market for a new scat? Or how about we send his ass to Davy Jones Locker to show the Navy we really bought that life? All of those ideas seem good, but my man's Aokiji shows up to let them all know none of that is gonna work considering Kobe technically quit the Navy to become a member of S.W.O.R.D. Yo, 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 okay, hold up, hold up. Where has this man been all this time? The last time we spotted Aokiji out in the wild was when he dropped down in whole cake to squat wipe the big mom pirates and take off with pudding. And no cap, this has probably got to be the coldest nigga in all of One Piece. <laughs> oh, brother, Come on dog, you knew that was coming. But do y'all remember when Blackbeard pulled up on Aokiji in the liquor store and his crewmate started talking crazy, talking about how he's all washed up and how he needs to put the fries in the bag? But they must have forgot they're talking to an ex-admiral. One of the big three who walked down Whitebeard during the Marine Force War who has the capability to freeze oceans in seconds. But Aokiji's like, mother f the big three, nigga, it's just big me, nigga. And he freezes everything and everyone in sight, even the Henny. See, now at this point, Blackbeard already knew that they were outclassed and that their jump tactics wouldn't work. So instead, he offered them to join his crew to avoid going all out against an admiral. And I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm fully on board with the theory that Aokiji is actually a member of S.W.O.R.D. and that he's acting as a double agent to infiltrate a Yonko's crew and destroy it from the inside out when they least expect it. There are a couple moments that I'm gonna point out later that'll help back up that theory, so just keep that in the back of your mind for now. So now we shift back to Kobe who's serving a life sentence on Gulag Island and they have this man surrounded in gin pop fighting for his life not to get his booty taken. He has to evade all types of murderers, thugs, and scam artists while at the same time help to free the slaves like he's Harriet Tubman. But once you're in Hachinosu, you're basically stuck in the belly of the beast. He gets surrounded by what looks like over a thousand pirates all looking to take his head and shit ain't looking good for my boy. He got himself into a situation no one would normally be able to walk away from. But little does everyone know, the gang is right outside of the island, ready to pull up in merc shit with Unk leading a charge. All the preparations are set in place, and Unk pushes his own ship, sending that shit flying like it just hit a coup de burst. Now see, back on the island, all these niggas was distracted trying to take Kobe's head, right? But they didn't even realize that they were getting pushed into one spot like a pack of rats ready to be exterminated. 
The buildings throughout the island start to surround them and the only ones to notice were these two drunk ass niggas right here. But by the time they did, it was too late. Everyone looks up and sees a fucking warship coming straight at them from over a thousand feet in the air. Now see these niggas did the sensible thing and tried to clear it before they got belly flopped by the ship. But to be honest, that should be the least of your worries, brother. Up goes Super Saiyan and does the meanest plug walk I done damn near ever seen before launching into the sky and lighting up the entire island brighter than the sun itself. If I was one of those pirates on Ground Zero and I seen that shit, I would have instantly fell to my knees and started praying because I would have known my time was up. Gart comes raining down like a literal shooting star about to collide with Earth and he puts the galaxies moons and stars all into one punch united states of crash and this nigga crashes out and sends out a fucking nuclear warhead to decimate everything and everyone inside some of these niggas only seen a flash before they realized they were on their way to meet God. Y'all let me know in the comments right now who you think will win in the slap boxing contest. Unk D. Gart Krillin from One Punch Man or Mighty Man from My Hero Academia. Gart comes crashing down right along with the ship and Unk looks pissed. But he's not mad that Kobe got kidnapped or he had to come out of retirement. Nah. He got hot because he felt like that punch wasn't strong and he's off his game. Nigga, did you not just see what you did to that island? That shit hit so hard, I even felt the tremors outside of my crib and we're in different dimensions. But as soon as it looks like everything is in the clear and Kobe is about to escape, Frozone comes out the cut to instantly freeze her body and he's ready to run the ones with Unk and says, Nigga, you just can't come and spin the block on my hood and think you gonna walk away clean. Now mind you, Garp and Aokiji go way back like Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith and Karate Kid. Garp used to have my mans punching battleships like they're punching bags and he was even with them when he first became an admiral. But even with the history they shared, Garp just couldn't take it easy on my man. He is an admiral at the end of the day. They square up and Aokiji has that shit looking like Ice Age 2 the meltdown and freezes Garp in place before striking him with an ice ball and gears up to try and end the fight early. But Garp ain't having it, and he effortlessly breaks out of the ice by increasing his aura points and dodges the ice pick while sending back ice blocks like they're made out of rubber and has this man Aokiji on the back foot already. Then, Aokiji sends down a couple of frozen clips, but that shit had no effect. And he instantly rushes Jack Frost and grabs him by his chinny chin chin before delivering one of his most deadliest attacks. Um. Slam! Kablam! He chucks him straight into the ground, damn near taking the island with him. And just when it's looking like the fight is over, we got Paul Bunyan waking up and saying, Fee, fi, fo, fum, I hit his ass with that drum. But Gart comes in soaring like a rocket and delivers the biggest Zoclo I done damn near ever seen, sending this nigga straight into the kiddie pool. Then you got Bozo the Clown mixing the Casamigos with fire, but Gart picks up these two fodder and have them take the brunt of the attack before hurling them back at these niggas like he's King Koopa. The only thing to do now is to get out to sea and hightail it out of there. But as everyone is trying to escape, shit. There's one more civilian who got left behind and she's about to get taken to go meet Diddy. So like the noble man he is, Kobe decides to rush in to help. But the only thing is... Baka! That bitch is on their side! And little does he know, shitty you the shiesty comes in for a sneak attack to finally take my man's head. But before he could get the chance... Damn, Unk! He takes a stab straight in the gut for Kobe and picks up Samurai Jack like a rag doll and slams him into the ground like they're fighting in the WWE. But that stab probably put the nail in the coffin for Unk because I ain't gonna lie, shit ain't looking too good. Everyone rushes in and try and get the jump on Gart, but Aokiji comes back from the dead and locks in ready to end everything off in one attack. But Unk ain't cracking. 
He goes Super Saiyan 2 and charges in to teach his former student a lesson. Aokiji activates Rasengan and Garp goes in with bare knuckles before they both clash while giving each other the Omega Dap and both fighters get knocked the hell out. And I don't care what y'all say, when it comes down to impact frames, nobody is touching One Piece right now. They really had these niggas dapping each other up like they're from the hood and the only way to see it was to slow everything down. They definitely have a nigga on the production team cooking, bruh. But there's no time to relax. While Unk is out of commission, Hachinosu itself goes in to destroy Garp's ship and everyone on it. Now, I done seen some wild shit back in my day, but as soon as I see an entire island trying to attack me, yeah, it's time to retire my bad, bro. But Unk won't let that happen. He gives the boys one final order and they all spring into action to try and pull off the impossible. Meanwhile, Unk gets back up with one last blow left in him and decides to act as a distraction so that way Kobe and the boys can complete the mission. This is the reason why they call this nigga the hero. Not even a slice to the gut can hold this man back. He calls that shit a scratch and runs down on Aokiji again delivering a fatal blow before flying across the island like there's an S on his chest and squares up with Gilligan's Island before hitting him with the Exodia Obliterate and launches a fucking Kamehameha at this nigga like they're in a tournament of power. But not even that shit worked. Epstein's island is unfolding and it goes in and tries to destroy the ship but before I could even get the chance, here comes my boy Kobe falling out of the sky like a comet and he digs deep within himself to pull off his ultimate attack. Get to the Kobe launches an attack that basically scorches the earth and he demolishes the arm the size of an island all in one single blow. And to think once upon a time my mess was a complete pussy. I guess all that training in the gulag really paid off. And as everyone boards the ship to escape, Unk decides to stay behind and sacrifice his life for his student and the new generation. That shit was tough. It ain't hard to see Garp still got it in him. He ran the gauntlet with an island filled with pirates and damn near one. No lie, I used to sleep on Garp back in the day, bruh. I just didn't think that he was that strong since we never really seen him fight for real up until this point. When he said he was gonna kill Akainu back in Marine Fort, thought it was all cap. I mean, let's be real. We all know that one person who says that they need someone to hold them back or they're crashing out, but in reality, they can't fight for shit. And I thought that was the case for Gart, but it looks like <laughs> I was hella wrong. Even with a mortal wound, this man was still fighting like he's Tyson in the ring. And then for him to take on Aokiji without even breaking a sweat? No wonder the only person that could match him was Roger. And I honestly think that Gart was holding back against Aokiji. I feel like he could have probably taken an arm or another leg if he really wanted to, but since that is his student, he took it kind of light. But I do love what Oda did showing the dynamic between these two and how the fight feels like two family members fighting at the cookout. And then you have Kobe. Damn, what a surprise this was, especially my first time seeing it. I'm proud of this man because he probably had the biggest glow up in One Piece and it definitely shows in this fight right here. And I wouldn't be surprised if he became an admiral by the end of the story. But what do you guys think? Do you think Garp took it easy on Aokiji? Was Kobe the MVP of this whole thing? And did Kobe do it better than Garp? Let me know in the comments below you guys' thoughts. One Piece is going on a long six month hiatus, but that doesn't mean I can't give you guys some good commentary while we wait. So don't forget to subscribe to join the crew and lock in with the post notifications so that way you can stay up to date on everything that we do. And of course, like the video if you like the video. And I'ma see you guys in the next one. Peace.